Hi, this is Star Thinker, Randy Pischel. I am coming at you from the command center deep in the bowels of Asa Abloy's service center. But um, anyway, I wanted to make this video. Uh, I had a really horrible, horrible day, uh, Sunday. My cat jumped through a plate glass window. I mean, there was another neighborhood cat out there and they were hissing each other. And my cat jumped through the window and uh, it was, it was just a really bad, I mean, they fought and I had to get the other cat and I had to block the window before I could find my, and it was just, it was horrible. Um, my cats are the world to me, Mike and Phoebe. And um, anyway, then I'm like wrapping that up and um, I'm like, it, it tanked me. It really tanked me. It was a bad day. And then I noticed all these IMs coming in on Facebook. And I'm like, I don't answer IMs. I've said this a hundred million times. Uh, don't even bother IMing me. I won't respond to them. Um, if you have something of some concern, uh, post it in the forum, you know, post it on the Facebook group. Um, post it somewhere publicly and I will answer it publicly. Um, but I've had so many people write me privately and say, hey, this part of your book isn't valid anymore because this part of Denver changed. And I'm like, you know, I, I read Denver news almost daily. I belong to Denver groups. I still have Denver uh, friends. Uh, I'm in contact with Denver friends. Uh, I know what's going on in Denver. <laughs> so I know if uh, anything happens, I will probably be the first to know about it. Um, just like when the Christopher Columbus um, statue came down, I made an announcement about the Christopher Columbus statue. Um, so people started writing me saying, hey, your your punt is not valid anymore, it's over. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is news to me. <laughs> um, and I just, if it feels like one person, I would probably ignore it, but there was like several people writing me. And I gotta tell you, this all boiled down to the Stapleton neighborhood. And the Stapleton neighborhood is named after some guy named Stapleton. Um, actually, it was named after the Stapleton Airport, who was named after a governor of Colorado named Stapleton, who was a very open KKK member uh, who used his connections in the KKK to get elected. Um, it's very controversial and very um, not PC in today's world. And um, so the people living in Stapleton Air in Stapleton neighborhood said, "Well, we want a new name." And um, they finally settled. Out of all the names, I thought they were going to go with Concourse because it is still a neighborhood built on an airport, and it's you know the houses are built along the runways, and you know it's the tower is still there and everything. But no, they named it Central Park. Of all the plain, vanilla, generic names you could name it. Um, I'm reminded of when I worked for a school. And um, at the time, I knew the school was going to close. I've worked for schools before. I've worked for the reporting between the schools and the states. And I know what constitutes the state shutting a school down. And I had predicted that the school would be shut down within weeks. And they changed their name. <laughs> Um, so I'm just sitting here. I'm like, I don't care anymore because I knew the school would be shut down within weeks. And then so at this meeting, they're like, well, we're renaming this the, the Rocky Mountain Academy. And I'm like, have you Googled Rocky Mountain Academy? And they're like, uh, what about it? And I'm so right there, you know, on the big board in front of the whole school board and everything, I Googled Rocky Mountain Academy. And there was something like 2 million hits. I'm like, everybody calls their school a Rocky Mountain this and Rocky Mountain Academy and Rocky Mountain School. And, um, why would you name your school something that you can't because before you could google the name of the school and find it and now you can google the name of the school and you have to still search for it i said you made your name so un so generic that people can't find it now and it created kind of a stir and i was right within a few weeks that school was shut down by the state so um uh, i didn't feel like i was threatened in any way so <laughs> i was speaking my mind uh, but it's like that. Um, Central Park, I mean, first of all, people were like, oh, there's a Central Park, you know, it's Denver. But no, the big park in Denver is City Park. And I love City Park. I used to go there all the time. 
Um, I love to people watch, and that was where so many people went. And sometimes you go there, and it'd be a big festival going on, or like a, you know, Greek festival or family reunion or or something going on there, weddings. Um, I used to just sit there and, and love to watch all that. And um, and plus, it's right next to the zoo, and you would hear elephants roaring and lions roaring, and birds, and you'd hear all the noises from the zoo, and so that was kind of cool. And then. Uh, of course, it's right there next to the Denver Museum, and uh, I've said before, I I love the Denver Museum. I used to, you know, I'd get off work at five or six, I'd get to the museum and stay for an hour or two. Um, I, you know, I would buy the yearly pass, and it allows you to go in any time. I've done the night at the museum where you literally get to spend the night in the museum. Um, uh, I've been to special events in the museum, uh, but yeah, and the weekend Saturdays, I would go there. Um, you know, if I wasn't hiking in the mountains, I would go to the museum and and go up on the roof and watch people or, you know. And there was free days, and everyone kept saying, don't go to the museum on free days. And they're right, because literally there were certain places that got so crowded, the crowd couldn't move. And it would freak people out. But I'd love to go there, and I would get to a spot where I could just watch people and... Um, you know the crowd i don't like crowds the crowds bother me but um i would get to a spot where i could like watch people um, but i saw so many cool things there and i know people were like oh forrest fenn said he would park his car in the museum and go hop an airplane i'm like they don't know denver <laughs> there's no public transportation between the museum and the airport um and of course he's rich enough to, to get a taxi and back then that's all you had with taxis but there's no trains or buses between the museum and denver airport and it's a quite a ride between the two and to say they make it sound easy like oh yeah he parked his car at the museum and drove to the airport no, that doesn't <laughs> that's not right at all um, plus the parking is like underground so I, I don't know um, but yeah I just I love that whole area but that is City Park and Stapleton changed its name to Central Park um, but, uh, and you know, identities, neighborhood identities in a big city is a big deal. And everyone, everyone is proud of their neighborhood or they're ashamed of their neighborhood, however you want to look at it. But, um, you know, people love to say, oh, I'm from Lodo. I'm from, you know, I'm from Cap Hill. I'm from Wash Park. I'm, you know, and they always abbreviate them. And, but, you know, now they're not, they can't say I'm from Stapleton. They have to say, I'm from Central Park, and it's just so generic. But why people think that made my hunt over, I don't know. I don't know what they're... I, and I remade this video because, like, I've said too many things before, but there's nothing in my hunt that says Stapleton. There's just not. <laughs> so why changing the neighborhood would stop my hunt, I don't know. So... The question is, is the hunt over? And the answer is no, it's not even close to being over. Um, I still think there's a long way to go. There's still some clues that people haven't even found yet. And um, uh, it's got a long ways to go. It's, I designed it to last a long time. And um, that might put some people off, but that's what I wanted. So um, not to put people off, but for it to last a long time. And I know some people are dedicated to solving it quickly. So who knows, but um, I just think it's uh, it's going to be, it's still going to be going for a while. Um, and the change of the name and the tearing down of the statue doesn't affect anything, so I'm not changing anything. Um, I did make the announcement that the statue is torn down, but it's probably going to be put back up at some point. Uh, and everyone knows where the statue is, and if you don't, you can Google it. And there's other clues that take you around that anyway, so... It doesn't really matter that that statue is gone. Um, and it certainly doesn't matter that Stapleton changed its name to Central Park. So I don't know if these people were in a group because it was more than one person that I am to me. Um, and I even got an email on it. So I don't know if, if a group somewhere had a solve that had Stapleton and they all wrote me or something. But I'm just like, you know, I was, it was evening and I was like, I already knew that that happened. I didn't even think think anything about it. But then I just started seeing, you know, all private messages, private messages, and I'm like, oh, something, something's going on. 
<laughs> so I thought it would just address it, but no. If you got, I, I don't know. I really don't even know how they would even get Stapleton. So why they think the hunt's over, I don't know, but it's not. It's in full swing and it's perfectly well and healthy and uh, it's got a long life ahead of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and I just wanted to address that. Is the hunt over? No, it's not. So have a good night. <clears throat> Addendum. I just wanted to add it at the end here that um, just a reminder, I do not answer PMs. I do not answer emails. You may as well not even do that. If you have a concern, if you think uh, a neighborhood changing its name or a statue being removed, or if you think something that is going to affect the hunt, that's fine. But post it publicly in the forum. Um, if you think that's, you know, if you were afraid to word it, to let others know that you might have solved something just say hey stapleton changed his name is this going to affect the hunt and i will answer that publicly uh, i am answering this just from the shared no you know this is probably the most stuff i've gotten from a single change in denver i do keep in touch with denver i am aware of what's going on there but um just a reminder uh no the reason i made this was because i will not answer pms and i want this to be public uh, so uh yeah, and I don't normally even make videos for, for stuff unless it's something like this where a lot of people are asking questions. So, But your best bet um, to get anything out there, to get an answer, is just to poke it, post it publicly um, somewhere, and I will answer it publicly. I, again, I will not. I reiterated this over and over again. I will not answer private messages or private emails, So, um, especially if they're book-related. Um, I have answered stuff like, hey, I'm self-publishing. How did you self-publish? That has nothing to do with the hunt. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the only reason I made this. I don't think I said that in the video anywhere because I made two videos tonight and the other one I deleted. Um, so I just wanted to reiterate that, that. The reason I made this video was just to, to answer some questions. And, um, uh yeah, if anything like this, like this happens in the future, I probably know about it before you do. And if you think it's going to affect anything, uh, go ahead and use the Facebook group. Um, I do look at the forums at Hint of Riches, and I look at the forums on Mysterious Writings. Um, I haven't posted there yet. I just haven't seen a reason to. Um, but I do reach, check those at least a couple times a week. So if you even post a question there, I'll probably see that and answer it. Um, but the Facebook page is probably the best way. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to clarify that point and I'll addend this to the, uh, the video. Thanks.